the idea that somebody who's a waiter could then buy their own restaurant and buy a house for their family, it, that seems naive, right? It seems hopeless today. Yeah, good for the, the George Michaels. George would later say of this period that he felt that he felt ugly and fat. He would also say that he never received praise from his father, mm. and that he sensed his mother's discomfort with his sensitive side. Mm. He was close to his mother, Leslie, throughout his throughout her entire life. But here's more, you know, in a candid moment, he says this: Sometimes I felt that my mom made me feel I wasn't man enough or boy enough when I was growing up. I mean, it makes me think about, like, my understanding of sort of beliefs about parenting at this time are that, like, if you see gay qualities in your child, you must stifle them immediately so that he grows up normal and can have a normal life and not be condemned to living on sex criminal island or whatever, uh, or collecting stamps. Right, and the, and the irony is that you behaving weirdly around this kid is going to generate the neuroses that's going to prevent them from feeling normal and accepted and loved, right? Right, and it feels, and especially like Americans are horrible too, and in and, and many, in basically the same ways, right? Like the apple doesn't fall far from the British tree. But I feel like learning, especially about like English parenting in the 20th century, you're just like, wow, they really were afraid of loving their children, <laughs> especially in the middle classes. <laughs> I don't want to give Leslie a, a short shrift here because yeah. also she's growing up. She may have been thinking in the back of her mind about her brother, Colin Harrison. So this is George's uncle. Colin Harrison was gay. He overdoses on pills and kills himself. And so George isn't told about this story when he's a kid. He, doesn't, he only learns about his gay uncle much later. Leslie didn't have any control over that. But she she has seen really close in her immediate family the effects of her and how deadly they can be. Are there things that you feel like could have been within her reach in that time and place as ideas that you wish you thought of? She is giving George the kind of material advantages that she thinks are important. The reason is so they can move from one neighborhood to a fancier neighborhood to a fancier neighborhood and go to a middle class school and have middle class friends and George is going to have this middle class life. That's right. Mm -hmm.